Hey everybody, this one is called Regulations Equals Slave. Uh, this one's not a very long one, so hopefully we can get through it pretty quick. First of all, I'd like to bring your attention to the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association, that's Sheriff Richard Mack's organization. Um, there's there's uh, uh, all of these um, uh, um, police, county sheriffs, etc., can, um, they wear two hats. They're either a law enforcement officer support enforcing the martial law, or they're a peace officer. And uh, so Sheriff Richard Mack's organization, um, I encourage uh, you to uh, um, uh, introduce your local police chief and your local sheriffs to the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association and your local police officers as well. Uh, because it's much better for one of their peers to educate them about this stuff than for like me or you. Um, so, um, and when you understand what happened when the Soviet Union fell apart, um, basically what happened is you had in Germany that wall and uh, you had every once in a while somebody would go running over across that no man's land uh, between the wall um, in East Germany uh, to West Germany and they would get machine gunned. And what happened is eventually the uh, um, officers, the military, refused to machine gun those people going, going fleeing the country. And so a few went and they made it and the next thing you know there was millions of them gone. And then the next thing they did is they tore down the wall. And so, and that's when the Soviet Union ended. So we need to um, educate our peace officers. Copies of these documents can be found in my private group at Yahoo called Administering Your Public Servants for a complete set of YouTube videos with private information shares, a DVD with over 50 searchable law dictionaries and other books and forms. Contact me privately at engineerwin at yahoo.com. Donations to support this work are appreciated. I prefer gold or silver coin, but as an extremely less desirable alternative, I can accept the military script, the fake money, the IOUs, the Federal Reserve notes, the PayPal gifts, the checks, the money orders, the forced loans. Send me an email for particulars. Uh, this is taken from the Canadian Ownership and Control Determination Act. Okay, so this is actually in all countries. This applies in all countries. If you are subject to the regulations, you are a slave. And uh, I think we're going to zoom in on this. Yep. Canadian Ownership and uh, De Control Determination Act. Owned means subject to the regulations. And a person is typical meaning. It's a corporation. A fictitious entity. But owned means subject to the regulations. If you are subject to the regulations, you are owned. If you are owned, you are a slave. If you are subject to regulations, you are owned. If you are subject to regulations, you are property. If you are subject to regulations, you are a slave. This is the same everywhere. This is Article 4, Section 3, Clause 2, Constitution for the United States of America. The Congress shall have power to dispose of and make all needful rules and regulations respecting the other property belonging to the United States. If you are subject to the regulations, you are a slave. You are owned. Martial law extends to property and to persons, whether they are subjects of the enemy or aliens to that government. This is Libra Code Article 7. Martial law extends only to subjects of the enemy. If these law enforcement officers are talking to you, you are a subject of the enemy. A subject is anything created by the government. This is McCullough versus Maryland, U.S. Supreme Court, 1819. All subjects over which the sovereign power of the state extend are objects of taxation, but those over which it does not extend are exempt from taxation. 
This proposition may also be pronounced as self-evident. It is obvious. The sovereignty of the state extends to everything which exists by its authority or its permission. Let a state be considered as subordinate to the people, but let everything else be subordinate to the state. My blog is SovereigntyInternational.wordpress.com. My website is SovereigntyInternational.fyi. My email address is EngineerWin at Yahoo.com. My YouTube profile is Sovereign Living. My Facebook community page is deleted. Uh, my private group at Sovereignty International is being deleted. It takes uh, time to ban 17,000 people off your group. And I'm not going to let Facebook profit from my hard work. My Yahoo private group is called Administering Your Public Service. My Google private group is called Administering Your Public Service. Follow me on Twitter at Engineer Wynn. And then I've got a Steema profile and a BitChute profile. Every corporation, for all its purposes, is an agent of Her Majesty and Right of Canada. So, all of these corporations are agents of the government they're set up under. They are agents when they say Central Intelligence Agency, think about it. You know, when I used to work at U.S. Airways, I saw their Air Agency Certificate. And um, they're an agency of the Department of Transportation. Anyways, the point being is, is that Central Intelligence Agency, that's a private company. It's owned by somebody. They have a contract to collect intelligence. And certainly they go and do what, they, what the U.S. government wants, but you don't think they're just giving it to the U.S. government alone. You don't think that maybe they're uh, using it for other purposes, too? Of course they are. What do you think is going on? Hello, it's time to wake up. They're all agents of the government. When Google blocks you, they can't sit there and say that that you don't have any rights when you're dealing with a private corporation. Bull! They're agents of the government. A corporation is a franchise from the government. When you uh, incorporate, you're incorporating into the government. You are giving the corporation to the government for the privilege of using the fictitious name and having limited liability. It is a contract. And as with all contracts, there are requirements. This is the same everywhere. That's why they tax you. The tax is the fee that you pay for the special privilege. If they can take a penny, they can take it all. Be glad they're only taking 3% or 6% or 25% or 45% or 75% or 95%. If they want, they can seize everything. You gave it to them when you incorporated. A friend was recently stopped by the county sheriffs for speeding. He overheard them say that they could not have his vehicle towed because it was not registered. That's correct. Because if it's registered, it's theirs. If it's not registered, it's not theirs. And I want to stress again the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association. That's run by Sheriff Richard Mack. It's a wonderful group of people. They're trying to educate all of these law enforcement officers and convert them into peace officers. Because we need peace officers. We need people to keep the peace. But we don't need this martial law. I have learned more on constitutional law in one day here at this convention than I have in my 15 years as a sheriff, and that's Sheriff Sam Page, R-S-C-O, R-C-S-O, that's um, something county sheriff's office, or I'm not sure what county, North Carolina. The point being is that it's too bad he took him 15 years to learn this stuff, but at least now he knows it. We need to educate the rest of them. Check out my other videos, my Bankster Thieves playlist, my Roman Cult playlist, my Bankrupt Corporate So-Called Governments, uh, um, Bar Members 1 through 3, Do It Yourself Out to Volunteer for the Selective Service and the Draft, Martial Law is here, Do It Yourself No Income Tax, Do It Yourself Free Mail, Do It Yourself Kangaroo Courts 1 through 15, Canada Border Pigs playlist, Bar Members and their Satanic Connections playlist. The Matrix is real. 
We have all given up our God-given rights in exchange for some, some government privileges. All governments have been seized in bankruptcy by the Roman cult. That's why they circulate the fictitious money. We have literally given up our God-given rights in exchange for, a, for some satanic privileges. Kind of like Esau gave up his birthright for a mess of pottage. We are literally in a contract with the devil. We have two choices. We can continue to participate in satanic contracts, or we can repent and return to God's law, which is natural law, and quit participating in satanic contracts. We have to turn away from Babylon. Under God's law, we can still do almost everything we're doing, but we need to do it differently. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Steemit at Sovereignty International. Don't forget to like this video. On YouTube, don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when there's a new upload. On Steemit, don't forget to vote and make your comments. This is my YouTube channel. The subscribe button's already been clicked because it's not red. The arrow is pointing at the bell. It's not been clicked because it doesn't look like it's vibrating. When, it cli when you click it, a uh, pop will come up and you check the box saying that you want to be notified of uploads. This is all coming from the Roman cult. My history of the Jesuits is not eloquently written, but it is supported by unquestionable authorities and in, is very particular and very horrible. There, the Jesuit order's restoration in 1814 by Pope Pius VII is indeed a step towards darkness, cruelty, despotism, and death. I do not like the appearance of the Jesuits as ever there was a body of men who merited eternal damnation on earth and in hell. It is the Society of Ignatius de Loyola. And that's John Adams, second president of the United States. Within 20 years, this country is going to rule the world. Kings and emperors will soon pass away and the democracy of the United States will take their place. When the United States rules the world, the Catholic Church will rule the world. Nothing can stand against the Church. And that's Roman Catholic Archbishop James E. Quigley um, at the, in the Chicago Daily Tribune, May 5th, 1903. And it's kind of interesting. So 1903, nine, 10 years later, they set up the Federal Reserve. 20 years after that, it was bankrupt. Uh, the government was bankrupt, and they seized it. So it was a little more than 10 years, within more, a little more than 20 years. But he obviously knew something was coming. Two national governments exist, one to be maintained under the Constitution with all its restrictions, the other to be maintained by Congress outside and independently of that instrument. And that's U.S. Supreme Court, uh, Downs versus Bidwell uh, in 1901. So we have the 1787 Constitution and the 1871 Corporation. December 24, 1913, the Federal Reserve Act passed Christmas Eve in the middle of the night. On March 3, 1930, March 9, 1933, the unconstitutional corporation was bankrupted, placed under martial law, and seized by the Roman cult. It took less than 20 years to bankrupt the government. And here is Roman Conquest on the 24th of September, 2015. This is just a, a symptom of what already was in place. That's when the Pope, or the pimp, went to speak uh, in Congress. And the text is really hard to read, so I'm going to have it on these other uh, slides. But it's going to go from this top left corner um, and around... And, and so uh, this top left corner is pointing at the staff right here. Right here, you see it? Staff with the eagle on top. The eagle is a symptom of the Roman cult. And so uh, we'll see what it says. That says, Roman Achaea, military staff carried in battle by all Roman commands and planted on all conquered nations. And that's pointing, that's this text right here, and it's pointing at this military staff right here. Pointing at this military staff right here. And this next text, Devout Roman Catholic Honorary Degree from Jesuit Scranton University. And that's this text right here pointing at Joe Biden. Roman bundle of rods bound to a weapon symbolizing subservient under the rule of a single man. 
That's this text right here pointing at these two bundles of rods, these fascists. Devout Roman Catholic trained by Jesuits installed first Jesuit chaplain to the house. And that's what Donald Trump is having to deal with now. And that's this text right here pointing at Boner or Beaner or whatever it is. Anyways, and that's what Donald Trump is fighting. So we all need to know what the issues are. We need to support Donald Trump because he said when he first took office that he was going to bring the power or the uh, um, put the hands of the government, put the, the government back into the hands of the people. And right now it's under a military dictatorship and owned and operated by the Roman cult. And, and, and so um, we need to understand that and we need to understand what's get, what has to happen. And, and we need to do things to support, uh, to, to help push that thing along. Why do you think Donald Trump's first international trip includes the Roman cult on the itinerary? And why do you think the pimp looks so angry in his pictures with Donald Trump? It's because Donald Trump, right there is Obama, and Obama and him are chuckling and laughing because they're all deciding that they're, they're all a bunch of traitors and going to overthrow, going to seize the government and, and murder up a bunch of people. And and uh, and in the bottom one, the caption is justice is coming, but the real reason the pimp is so upset, I think, is because Donald Trump is going to take away his power. Absolutely. He's not too happy about that, is he? Donald Trump is a wonderful guy. Dictatorship is here. Uh, Adolfo Nicholas Pasha, 2008, 30th Superior General, Council Society of Jesus, the Black Pope. January 2008 to the present. I'm not sure. I mean, it's uh, well over 10 years now. So I'm not sure if he's still the Black Pope. Master or Overseer of the White Pope, who was at that time Benedict XVI. Uh, Benedict XVI, uh, Ratzinger, uh, resigned because he was convicted by the International Tribunal on the Council on the Crimes of Church and State uh, for uh, being involved in the Night Circle Satanic um, um, a Child Sacrifice Cult. Anyways, Satan's present rule of the world. Go ye then unto all the world and take possession of all lands in the name of the Pope. You who will not accept him as Vicar of Jesus and his vice region on earth, let him be accursed and exterminated. That's the Jesuit oath of induction. And notice the statue. Uh, this symbol right here is the Jesuit symbol. And notice the statue. Uh, he's got his foot on, on top of, you know, somebody. The Jesuit oath. I further promise and declare that I will, when opportunity present, make and wage relentless war, secretly or openly, against all heretics, Protestants, and liberals, as I am directed to do, to extirpate and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth, and that I will spare neither age, sex, or condition, and that I will hang, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics, rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women, and crush their infants' heads against the walls in order to annihilate forever their in inexorable race. That when the same cannot be done openly, I will secretly use the poison cup, the strangulating cord, the steel of the poniard, or the leaden bullet. In other words, they're cowards, okay? They won't come out in the open and do it. They're cowards. They have to sneak around. Regardless of the honor, rank, dignity, or authority of the person or persons, whatever may be their condition in life, either public or private, as I may at any time be directed so to do by any agent or pope or superior, the brotherhood of the holy faith of the society of Jesus. That's all Satanism, folks. Okay, that's, that's satanic. Ever wonder why the world is so diabolically evil? Meet the man that makes it that way. The black pope, Adolfo Nicholas, the most powerful man in the world behind the plan for the new world order. That's exactly correct. The Superior General of the Jesuits, the Black Pope, Adolfo Nicholas, and his six generals control the White Pope and the Vatican and an entire list below. The Illuminati, the Zionists, the Global Elites, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderberger Group, the Freemasons, the Council of 300, the United Nations, and the Council of Trent. The Jesuits control the Knights Templar and the Knights of Columbus and the Knights of Malta. The CIA, the FBA, the FBI, the NSA, the ASIO, MI5, MI6, NCIS, FSB, DGSE, Mossad, and every intelligence agency in the world are Masonic and controlled by the Jesuits. 
The Jesuits have infiltrated most governments and leaders, including Obama, uh, um, making them puppets that carry out Jesuit orders. Why do you think Georgetown University is in the District of Columbia that's owned by the Jesuits? That's the Jesuit universities, Georgetown University. And how convenient that it's in the District of Columbia. The Vatican New World Order, Herman Van Rompuy, the President of the European Council, stated recently we're all Jesuits. He was referring to those prominent European leaders with whom he is developing the Roman Catholic architecture of the future Europe. It breaks, uh, creates unbreakable ties. So here's the Jesuits International. And look at that. They're all having a good old time. Ha, 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 ha. We're going to murder off a bunch of people and create a satanic blood sacrifice for the Roman cult. Well, this seal is openly displayed. The Jesuit order is in control. I'm not sure if that seal is at that location. That's number 10 uh, Downing Street. Um, so, uh, but definitely where that seal is openly displayed, the, the Jesuit order is in control. Uh, Nick, Pope Nicholas V issued the papal bull Dum de Versus on the 14th of June, 14, 18th of June, 1452. It authorized Alfonso V of Portugal to reduce any Sarsens, Muslims, and pagans, and any other unbelievers, people who aren't Catholic, to perpetual slavery. This facilitated the Portuguese slave trade from West Africa. The same Pope wrote the bull Romanus Pontifex on January 5, 1455 to the same Alfon Alfonso, and as a follow-up to Dumb Diversus, it extended to the Catholic nations of Europe over discovered lands during the Age of Discovery, along with the sanctifying the seizure of non-Christian lands. It encouraged the enslavement, actually that's non-Catholic lands. It encouraged the enslavement of native non-Catholic peoples of Africa and the New World. Uh, we weighing all the singular and premises with due mediation and noting that since we have formally by our letters of ours granted among other things free and ample faculty to the aforesaid King Alfonso to invade, search out, capture, vanquish, subdue all Sarsens and pagans whatsoever and other enemies of Christ. I mean, they're the ones that are pagans, really. The Roman cult, the salt, that's a pagan church. And other enemies of Christ Wheresoever place the kingdoms, dukedoms, principalities, dominions, possessions, and all movable and immovable goods whatsoever held and possessed by them to be reduced their persons to perpetual slavery and to apply and appropriate to himself and his successors the kingdoms, dukedoms, counties, principalities, dominions, possessions, and goods and to convert, convert them to his and their use and profit by having secured the said faculty, the said King Alfonso, or by his authority the aforesaid infant justly and lawfully has acquired and possessed and doth possess these islands, lands, harbors, and seas, and they do of night belong and pertain to the said King Alfonso and his successors. In 1493, Alexander VI issued the bull inter Serrara, stating one Christian nation did not have the right to establish dominion over the lands previously dominated by another Christian nation, thus establishing the law of nations. And it's interesting to note that the Liber Code has Law of Nations written in there several times, basically saying that the Liber Code is a subset of the Law of Nations. And so this is all coming from the Roman cult, folks. It's about time we started figuring this out. Together with Dumb Diversus, the Romanus Pontifex and the Inter Serrara came to serve as a basis for the justification for the doctrine of discovery, the global slave trade of the 15th and 16th centuries, and the age of imperialism. And the Roman cult is responsible for all slavery. Under under the Libra Code, you're a slave. I have exclusive videos available on my website, www.sovereigntyinternational.fyi. I have two subscription levels, and I accept cryptocurrencies. Uh, it's uh, $39.99 a year for the videos only, $49.99 a year for the videos plus unlimited consultations. But I am not a liar. Well, I'm in an attorney. Well, no, I'm in a liar. But I can tell you what I would do and where to find the forms. The only power that these New World Order Satanists have over us is through fraud and deception, and my agenda is to expose it for all our benefit, but I cannot fight all the battles. I need other people fighting it and on point. I'm currently publishing a video a week. Um, and I've got a bunch that I'm working on now. There was a period of time where I didn't have a video a week, but now I've got um, a bunch that I'm working on. 
And so uh, I don't like to have uh, repeat videos. I like to have a, a video on a certain topic and then and once it's done, it's done. And so um, uh, so that there's, there's always uh, new topics or new discussion. Um, anyways, um, some of the exclusive content that's available is the Arlington Private Information Share, which is nine videos alone. My land deed training, estoppel certificates training, foreclosure estoppel certificates training, corporate denial training, toll roads notice and demand training, invoice training, notice of void judgment training, revocation of signature training, third party witness training, federal habeas corpus training. Uh, revocation of voter registration training, criminal complaint training, lawsuit training, uh, other training if there's requests of something that I can do. Um, also the Northeast Private Information Share videos are uploaded to the, um, to the exclusive content. Um, this last May there was one and um, I've got um, a bunch of videos that I uploaded to the exclusive content that are from there. All forms, files, and other instructions are available for free on my two private groups, at Yahoo Groups and Google Groups, and the exclusive content will be available on my website, and you can buy a subscription there. Now, um, again, uh, I need people on point, and, um, and so if you want to make a donation, uh, um, it's a modest donation, there's no doubt about it, but, but a whole bunch of people chipping on a little bit, it adds up uh, pretty fast. Anyways... Um, we therefore decline to overrule the opinion of Chief Justice Marshall. We hold that the District of Columbia is not a state within Article 3 of the Constitution. In other words, cases between citizens of the district and those of the states are not included in the catalog of controversies over which the Congress could give jurisdiction to the federal courts by virtue of Article 3. In other words, Congress has exclusive legislative jurisdiction over citizens of Washington District of Columbia and through their plenary power, that's military dictatorship, folks, nationally covers those citizens even when in one of the several states as though the district expands for the purpose of regulating its citizens wherever they go throughout the states of the Union. And that's natural, National Mutual Insurance Company of the District of Columbia versus Tidewater Transfer Company, 1948. From 1203 to 1805, 50 million Christians died suffering at the hands of Rome because they believed in Christ alone. They died through Europe, especially Spain, for they saw all but Christ as vain. He who suffered by his death for men to save them from their awful sin. Six hundred years of martyred saints that history cannot erase with iron heel and iron hand the Roman popes rule the land. The Rothschilds have been part of the Jesuit order since way before 1776. The Maltese Cross indicates membership and allegiance to the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, a Masonic order created in 1099 by direct descendants of Roman emperors of which the Jesuit order is a brand. And so... Um, the Rothschilds and and the negotiable instruments, that's all Roman law, okay? Negotiable instrument law, all this uh, commercial paper, uh, uh, fake money, that's all Roman law. Isn't it interesting that the Pope calls fake news a sin, yet the Catholic Church has been selling false saviors and implicated in child pedophilia for centuries? The Vatican's Holocaust, the sensational account of the most horrifying religious ma massacre of the 20th century, is just one of many atrocities that the Roman cult is responsible for. Um, uh, by Avril Manhattan, who is a knight of Malta too, by the way, but uh, obviously they're not all crooks. Avril Manhattan was the world's foremost authority on Roman Catholicism and politics, a resident of London during World War II. He operated a radio station called Radio Freedom, broadcasting to occupied Europe. He was the author of over 20 books, including the bestseller of the Vatican and World Politics, twice Book of the Month, uh, going through 57 editions. He was a great Briton who risked his life daily to expose the darkest uh, secrets of the papacy. Uh, his books were number one on the Forbidden Index for the past 50 years, uh, and it's probably uh, 70 years now, uh, maybe close to 80 years. Uh, the issue uh, from 1986 and 2006, the record is now 70 years on the forbidden book list, and so then it's now it's 80. The Vatican's Holocaust is not a misnomer, an accusation, and even less a speculation. It's an historical fact. Rabid nationalism, religious dogmatism were its two main ingredients during the existence of Croatia as an independent Catholic state. Over 700,000 men, women, and children perished. Many were executed, tortured, died of starvation, buried alive, or were burned to death. 
hundreds were forced to become Catholic. Catholic padres ran concentration camps. Catholic priests were officers in the military corps, which committed such atrocities. 700,000 total population of a few million. Proportionally would be as if one third of the USA population had been exterminated by a Catholic militia. What has been gathered in this book will vindicate the veracity of these facts, dates, names, places, as well as photos are there to prove them. They should have become known to the American public not to foster vindictiveness, but to warn them of the danger which racialism and sectarianism, when allied with religious intolerance, can bring to any contemporary nation, whether in Europe or in the New World. The work should be assessed without prejudice as a lesson even more vital and as a warning for future of the Americas, uh, beginning with that of the USA. An armed Serbia could have easily prevented this Holocaust. Thank God for the Second Amendment to the Constitution, which guarantees the right to bear arms. Uh, freedom of religion and an armed citizenry go hand in hand as the only guarantee that this won't happen in America. Editors note it's the Vatican One World Government. So it's when George Bush Jr. was our senior was talking about his New World Order. That's exactly what he's talking about as the Roman cult. Anyways, it is the Vatican One World Government that doesn't want you to have the right to own arms or to use any means to defend yourself. Of course. Don't want you being able to defend yourself. Pope claims you're not Christian if you own a gun. Actually, you're a Satanist if you don't own a gun. The Pope is a Satanist. He's a liar. Um, New World Order by Ralph Emerson. This is the middle paragraph. It was written in 1989. The New World Order will include changes in the family. Homosexual marriages will be legalized. Well, that's been done. Parents will not be allowed to raise their children. Well, they certainly try and uh, steal your children. All women will be employed by the state and not allowed to be homemakers. Divorce will become exceedingly easy. Monogamous marriage will be slowly phased out. The workplace, the government will become the owner of all the factors of production. Private ownership of property will be outlawed. Under Obama, they were certainly working that way, but Trump has been reversing that stuff. Religion will be outlawed, so we'll see. Believers will either be eliminated or imprisoned. There will be a new religion, the worship of man and his mind. This is the Jewish Encyclopedia, Volume 2, page 497. Rothschilds are the guardian of the papal treasure. Uh, treasure. Um, it says up at the, fr at the top there where it's underlined, it says, Meanwhile, the nationalist reactionary parties in France desired to counterbalance the Semitic influence of the Rothschilds by establishing a banking concern that should be essentially Catholic. And then the bottom underlined part is somewhere a curious sequel to the attempt to set up a Catholic competitor to the Rothschilds that at the present time the latter are the guardians of the papal treasure. So this has been going on, the, the Roman cult has been responsible for this uh, uh, fake money from the beginning. In the United States, uh, is third in murders throughout the world. If you remove Chicago, Detroit, Washington, D.C., St. Louis, New Orleans, the United States is then 189th out of 193 countries in the entire world. P.S. All five cities have strict gun control laws. And there's my kind of girl. Look at that, eh? Man, gorgeous. And she knows how to defend herself, hopefully. War is when your government tells her who the enemy is. Revolution is when you figure it out for yourself. Liberty and freedom, when liberty and freedom are at stake, your silence isn't golden, it's yellow. And another one about the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association. A sheriff can and should interpose for his citizens against an overreaching federal, state, or local government. Uh, Sheriff Brad Rogers, um, I highly encourage everyone to uh, uh, get uh, 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 books from these guys and, and give them away to your local police chief and your local police officers. We need to get them converted over to being a peace officer instead of a law enforcement officer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.